The Mercedes-Benz lineup is going through one of the biggest transformations in its history, and today, we have two models that perfectly demonstrate the shift into the electric era. On one side, we have the brand new 2026 Mercedes GLC Electric, built on next-generation architecture, infused with cutting-edge battery technology, and shaped with sustainability in mind. On the other side, we have the familiar 2025 Mercedes EQC, the first mid-size electric SUV Mercedes ever put on the road, a model that represented a cautious but important first step into electrification. And in this video, we're gonna put the two Mercedes SUVs under the microscope, compare their designs, their technical capabilities, their real-world practicality, and above all, see how far Mercedes has come in the short span of one generation. Let's start with the big picture. When Mercedes launched the EQC back in 2019 originally, it was seen as a luxury SUV with electric power, but it wasn't built on a dedicated EV platform. It was more like an adapted version of the GLC with batteries underneath, which meant compromises in efficiency and packaging. Fast forward to the 2025 model year, the EQC has seen small updates, a facelift here and there, but at its core, it's still that first generation experiment. The all new 2026 GLC Electric, however, is built completely differently. This is a ground up EV, part of Mercedes' new MBA platform, designed exclusively for electric drive efficiency, space optimization, and scalable performance. Right away, this sets the stage for a very different comparison. Design-wise, the EQC carries traditional SUV proportions with a slightly coupe-like silhouette. It has the signature EQ styling with a glossy black panel in place of a grille, flowing LED strips, and smooth surfaces that were futuristic six years ago, but are now starting to look dated. The 2025 EQC still looks elegant, but when parked next to the 2026 GLC Electric, the difference is obvious. The new GLC Electric has much sharper lines, a more aerodynamic profile, and a stance that communicates modern efficiency. The drag coefficient, for example, has been reduced to as little as 0.24 compared to 0.28 in the EQC. That means better efficiency at highway speeds and a quieter cabin too. The GLC Electric integrates its lighting technology into a clean fascia with digital light high-tech headlights that can project symbols on the road, while its grille section remains closed for aerodynamics but decorated with a 3D star pattern to reinforce the Mercedes identity. Now, size and dimensions also tell an important story here. The EQC rides on a wheelbase of 2.87 meters, and while it's comfortable for a midsize, rear passengers always felt a little pinched because the battery ate into interior packaging. The GLC Electric pushes that wheelbase to just over 2.95 meters, which doesn't sound like a huge jump, but combined with clever packaging of the dedicated flat battery platform, the cabin feels significantly more spacious. Rear passengers get true legroom, and the luggage area jumps to nearly 500 liters compared to under 470 liters in the EQC. So, from a practical standpoint, Mercedes fixed one of the main criticisms of the EQC. But where the transformation really shows is underneath the body. The EQC 404 Matic of 2025 uses two electric motors, front and rear, producing a combined 408 horsepower and 760 newton meters of torque. That was impressive at launch and remains quick today, with 0 to 100 kilometers per hour in around 5.1 seconds. However, it only uses an 80 kilowatt hour battery, of which around 74 kilowatt hours are usable. Real-world range? Around 300 to 400 kilometers, depending on conditions. Now compare that to the 2026 GLC Electric. It comes with Mercedes' new-generation high-energy density battery packs, available in 90 and 105 kilowatt-hour versions. Usable capacity in the larger pack is around 100 kilowatt-hours, and thanks to efficiency gains and aerodynamic improvements, range stretches to a WLTP-rated 600 kilometers easily, and in real-world mixed driving, 520 to 550 kilometers is achievable. That's nearly a 200-kilometer leap over the EQC. Charging is another area of generational progress. The EQC of 2025 supports up to 110 kilowatts on DC fast charging, meaning it takes about 40 minutes to go from 10 to 80 percent if conditions are perfect. The GLC Electric, however, supports 200 kilowatts on the base versions 
and up to 250 kilowatts with the high capacity pack. That means 10 to 80% in just over 20 minutes. Even on AC charging, the newer models support up to 22 kilowatts, while the EQC is capped at 11. For owners who charge primarily at home or at work, this is a significant convenience advantage. Performance is also interesting to compare. The EQC 400 has plenty of instant torque, but it has always felt heavy because it weighs more than 2.4 tons. The new GLC Electric manages to reduce weight even with bigger batteries thanks to Mercedes' use of new generation cell chemistry and structural integration. Even fully equipped, it drops around 150 kilograms compared to the EQC, landing at around 2.3 tons. That doesn't sound like much, but combined with a lower center of gravity from the flat pack and redesigned suspension, the GLC Electric feels more agile. Power-wise, the base dual-motor version delivers around 300 kilowatts, or just under 410 horsepower, while more powerful AMG versions are coming soon with over 500 horsepower. Acceleration for the dual-motor GLC Electric sits at around 4.6 seconds from 0 to 100, making it quicker than the EQC despite being larger and offering more range. Technology inside the cabin is another game-changer. The 2025 EQC, even in its upgraded form, relies on the older MBUX system with a wide dual-screen layout. It's functional, elegant, but it looks like classic Mercedes of the early 2020s. The 2026 GLC Electric debuts a new generation MBUX hyperscreen interface with a full-width glass panel across the dash combined with AI-driven personalization. It learns your driving habits, predicts navigation needs, and even adjusts battery preconditioning based on your calendar. Over-the-air updates are finally seamless, allowing the car to gain new features long after purchase. And importantly, Mercedes has integrated new augmented reality navigation that projects turn instructions directly onto the road via the windscreen, not just the central display. Then there's driving assistance. The EQC has level two assist functions, adaptive cruise, lane keeping, automatic emergency braking, solid but not groundbreaking. The GLC Electric brings Mercedes's next generation drive pilot, capable of level three conditionally autonomous driving in certain regions. That means on approved highways, the car can handle full driving duties, letting the driver take eyes off the road legally. This is a major leap in comfort and demonstrates how the GLC Electric isn't just a replacement for the EQC, but a technological flagship in its class. Sustainability also plays a larger role in the GLC Electric. The EQC already used some recycled materials, but the GLC Electric ramps it up with extensive use of renewable aluminum, plant-based interior fibers, and even leather alternatives for customers who prefer it. The battery production itself is planned with almost 50% lower carbon footprint thanks to renewable energy use in factories. It's a shift that aligns with customer expectations, but also regulatory pressures in Europe. Of course, this progress comes at a cost. The 2025 EQC starts at around 70,000 euros in its standard trim, while the 2026 GLC Electric is expected to begin closer to 75,000 euros, with higher trims pushing well past 90,000, depending on battery size and luxury features. In the US, the pricing difference will similarly place the GLC Electric above the outgoing EQC, but what you get is a significantly more advanced EV with future-proof software, much greater range, and a driving experience that feels more refined and less compromised. So what does this comparison tell us overall? The EQC was an important pioneer, a well-executed first attempt by Mercedes to enter the EV SUV market but it always carried the baggage of being built on an adapted combustion platform. The 2026 GLC Electric, however, shows what Mercedes can achieve now with dedicated electric engineering. It's more spacious, more efficient, faster charging, better to drive, smarter inside, and it sets a new benchmark for the brand in the mid-size luxury EV SUV segment. For potential buyers, the question is simple. Should you go for the EQC, perhaps at a discounted price as dealerships clear stock or leap into the new GLC Electric. If long-range driving, cutting-edge tech, and future resale value matter to you, the GLC Electric is clearly the stronger option. The EQC still offers comfort, quietness, and solid power, but next to the new GLC Electric, it feels a half-step behind. And we suspect 
For many Mercedes customers looking at the 2026 model year, the EQC will simply be remembered as the car that paved the way. So there you have it, a detailed head-to-head -head between the outgoing Mercedes EQC and the all-new Mercedes GLC Electric. Two SUVs from the same family, but separated by a generational leap in design, technology, and capability. Which one would you pick if you were in the market today? Let us know in the comments, and if you enjoyed this deep dive comparison, make sure to subscribe to Autopedia, hit the notification bell, and stay tuned for more in-depth reviews of the latest EVs hitting the road in 2026 and beyond.